Hi, I'm Nick Schumacher, your director of instruction at Channel Creek. And today I want to help you get better at green reading. Um, three putts are a big deal that we, we uh, encounter a lot. I encounter a lot as an instructor with a lot of my students. How do I decrease the number of three putts? Well, low speed and direction are important. And before that happens, being a good reader of the green is super important to understand what it is that you're looking at. So I'm going to give you a quick way to do that, uh, especially on shorter putts. So I've got a grid set up. These are four cones that are set up and they're all 10 feet away. Uh, and you'll see how they're set up in fours. So I've got one low, one high, one left, one right. And what I did here was I found the fall line. And what a fall line is, is the point where the putt is straight. So whether it's above the hole or below the hole, you're trying to find the extreme high point or extreme low point. And what you know, if you can find that point and you go to let's say three o'clock or to, to nine o'clock, uh, then you know that those putts are gonna break the most. So if I, for example, show you this downhill putt, this would be on the fall line. So I would anticipate this being pretty darn straight. So I aimed right at that and you can see how fast that is. Um, and that's for another day, but we're talking about the line, how, how straight that was. I aimed right at it and went straight. So now that I know, know that, I can go over to this one, and I know that that's going to be the putt that breaks the most. I came from the putt that breaks the least, and now I've got the putt that, makes, that breaks the most from this side. So I know it's going to break a lot from top to bottom because I found my high point. So I'm going to aim a lot to the right, and we'll see how close I get. So we can see how much that breaks. It didn't go in, but I knew I had to aim a lot. So use that as a way to read greens when you're out on the golf course. Find the high point, find the low point, and then you know where the straighter putts are and where the putts that break more are. I'm Nick Schumacher. Let me know if I can help you with your putting.